in welcome to my channel welcome back it's your girl sativa with a video so we're going to be talking about traveling to denver colorado to dallas i'm talking about my experience so as you guys can see i'm back home we're back home it feels good to be home you know just got out the shower where is my brush i need to find my hair brush but we're going to be talking about dancing out there and give you guys some advice and some tips before you guys do it. Where the hell? Oh, here it is. Okay. It's in my dance bag. I need to clean my bedroom. It's a mess. I need to clean my room and my bathroom. So, you guys know I went to Colorado with my friend. out of hairspray oh god i need to go to the store i need to put money on my srp today's saturday I haven't been to work all week because we left monday night so we didn't work tuesday wednesday thursday friday we got back yesterday afternoon yesterday morning kind of and then we were sleeping all day my boyfriend spent the night last night so we didn't work yesterday but colorado man so me and my friend we went to denver to try to dance out there we drove from phoenix to arizona it took so long it was the longest trip it was it took way too long to get there than it was supposed to anywho okay so there are some clubs that we called so the first club that we called was scarlet's so we called them we asked if they were hiring when they're doing auditions all that good stuff. So we, so we called a club, we got information. They told us that they're hiring and they do auditions any day. So we got there Tuesday, right? Tuesday afternoon we got there, we went there Tuesday night. The lady told us that they just hired our, no, there was like 12 girls that were just there to audition and to come back the next day. So we go back on Wednesday. We go back the next day on Wednesday. The manager was like, oh, my cage girl isn't here to fill out paperwork. Maybe she's come back tomorrow. As in yesterday, Thursday. So after we left that club, we just started driving around. We went to this other club. So we stopped at this one club. It was called Players Club. So Players Club literally had like a sign under. So here's their logo and then under it, they have like, you know, the it's not thinking this is now hiring dancers so we pull in there we go there and we, we were like oh are you guys doing auditions they asked for our ids so we gave them our ids and then the dude that was looking at them was like oh the manager said oh, we're not doing we're not hiring so we left okay and then the other one ugh, so the other club we went to was called saturday night live Horrible. So I automatically got weird vibes. When we got there, we talked to the manager, whoever the hell it was, manager owner. We're like, hey, are you doing auditions? He took us back to the office and he was just asking weird questions. He was asking where we danced at in Phoenix, if we knew the owner of one club and he didn't even know the club. He was just really weird. Okay. He was like, hmm, I'll give you guys an audition. Right? Okay. So we go get dressed. We go on stage. At first, I didn't notice that. That club didn't have any poles. It was, mm -mm, I don't recommend that club. If you're in Denver, do not go to Saturday Night Live. Do not go there. So anywho, I go on stage, there's no poles. It was weird. Did like two, three songs up there. Then my friend went up next. She did her songs. We both get off. We go up to the manager and we're like, hey, so we just got off stage. And he was like, oh, I didn't see. 
do it again and I'll look harder next time. So after that, me and my friend, we got dressed. We both had weird vibes from that place. It wasn't our vibe. So we got dressed and we left. And then we went back to the manager because he was still holding on to our IDs. He almost lost them. He misplaced them. He was like, oh shit, where are they? And it took him a second to find it. And then he was like, why are you guys leaving? We kind of just stayed quiet. And I was like, I'm gonna go get some food. He was like, well, if you guys are leaving, don't come back. Which we didn't want to. We really did not want to. So we left. Don't recommend that place. It was like a horrible, horrible place. Okay, so then after that, we go to this other one called Platinum 84. They only hire and do auditions on Wednesday, Wednesday nights as of their in their amateur contest. So me and my friend, I think we were like one of the first girls that got there. We filled out this paper, they asked us weird questions. Weird questions. So then after that, we just waited and then they had us fill this form out in the office and then we got dressed, right? So you need to have a skirt or a dress because your butt needs to be covered at all times. So me and my friend are really good on the pole. We do a lot of good stuff. We're both good on stage. So we did our thing, right? Only one song, it was only for like 20 seconds. It went by so quick. Cause there's like maybe 14, 15 other girls in the amateur contest, right? Me and my friend did good. A lot of the girls, I feel like they only hired like five of the girls and they really didn't do too much. Except for like walking circles and not really anything. I don't know. So that club was a waste of time. They, I don't like how they do auditions like that on amateur nights and stuff and you had to wait all night just to go on stage to be told yes or no, basically. And yeah, I don't know. So they told us no, probably because our IDs were from Arizona and they knew that we were just gonna be in and out. I don't think Denver, Colorado, they don't like travelers. So there's another thing to that. So they don't really like travelers. So if you wanna to go to Denver and if you're traveling, just be aware, be aware. They don't really like travelers that much. We don't have a Colorado ID. I feel like it was kind of, I feel like that's what it was too. So yeah, but the first club, Scarlet, they didn't even look at our IDs. They were just like, come back tomorrow. We just hired like so and so many girls. Cause there's barely, there's not that many clubs out there anyways. There's not that many clubs in Denver. So we didn't dance out there. Those clubs were weird. We came back home. We got here yesterday afternoon-ish. Today's Saturday. We're getting ready to go to work. Where's my ponytail? So yeah, that's what happened in Colorado, in Denver. Those clubs were stupid. good to be in my home state. I am from Denver. I'm from Colorado. That's where I grew up. So it was cool to be out there. I visited my mom. I got some chili rellenos. Sedella went on her first road trip in out of state. And the weather was really nice out there. So that was cool. But the whole reason we went there was try to go check out the clubs and see how they were. But it is right now, this time of the year, the clubs all around the world are dead everywhere pretty much because of this recession or whatever it's called. So, you know, I wasn't really expecting too much, but we weren't even able to work. And when I was out there, I had to buy like a skirt and a dress because your butt has to be covered when you're walking around. So the clubs do require you to have a skirt or a dress. It depends on the club, what you go to. So there's that as well. The thing about Colorado, why we went is that you don't need a dancer's license. So that was pretty easy, you know, you don't need a dancer's license like you do out here in Phoenix. So in Phoenix, we need a dancer's license to be able to work at the clubs. We had to have a license, but in Colorado and Denver, you don't need one. So we went out there and those clubs were, yeah, there's this other club I wanted to try yesterday night, but they, like that club was also an amateur contest thing. They only do hiring on their amateur contest. And I heard that club has way more girls because that's like one of the top clubs out there. So we ended up leaving yesterday afternoon from Colorado. Well, no, yesterday morning or whenever. No, we left on Thursday morning. 
Thursday evening. We got here yesterday afternoon, but today is Saturday. So we left Thursday evening around five o'clock. We got here yesterday around 10 o'clock. It took forever to get back and it took forever to get there. There was like, we had to take a detour because when we got like into Blackstaff, I guess there was a mountain fire. So the freeway that we were on got closed. So we had to do a whole loop to get back onto it. It took forever. But yeah, so that was my experiment, experience of trying to go travel to Denver, Colorado to dance. Um, I highly don't recommend traveling there to dance. Maybe if you live out there and you have your Colorado ID, probably have a little bit better of a chance. But I don't like the way they do auditions on amateur nights. I think that's weird. Like, that's weird. You know? So, yeah. But, you know, other than that, I had a really good time out there. The weather was nice. I enjoyed myself. Sidello loved the weather, too, I bet. It was really nice. It's just we didn't work. So, I basically took off. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I took like the four last days off from work. So we're going back to work today, it's Saturday. But yeah, so that was my experiments of going to Denver. Don't do it. Save yourself some money and don't bother traveling there to dance. If you're just trying to go out there on a vacation or whatever and to relax and not work, I recommend it, it's nice out there. Just around this time of the year, not in the winter because it'd be too cold and it'd be snowing. So this is the time of the year to do it, but not to dance. Don't go out there to dance. My fellow dancers, if, you're think if you were thinking about traveling there, maybe somewhere else. But leave a comment, what city, what state should I go to next to dance? Where do you think I should go next? Leave a comment and let me know. But this is going to be the end of this video, so make sure you guys leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button and ask me some questions in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.